Hi, I'm Joseph Rand from HomeBuyerTaxCredit.com, your leading resource for information about the Home Buyer Tax Credit. Uh, at our site, we get a lot of visitors who ask us questions about the IRS restrictions relating to filing your taxes and what you need to know about filing your taxes. Now, we're not accountants, and you should always check with your accountant before you make any decisions that involve your tax return. Uh, but we have set up some resources for you. So if you go to HomeBuyerTaxCreditBlog.com, you'll see that we have an IRS page. Uh, and on that page, we have all the documents you need uh, to include in your tax return if you're planning and claiming the tax credit, principally Form 5405, which is the form that you need for your 2009 return, which you'll file in April 2010. Uh, we also have a lot of the advisories uh, that the IRS has put together. We have links to all of them. Uh, we explain what they're about, uh, and we give you some general advice about what you need to know about filing your taxes. Uh, so make sure you check that out at homebuyertaxcreditblog.com. But three things we want you to keep in mind about filing your taxes and claiming the homebuyer tax credit. The first has to do with that Form 5405. Make sure that you've downloaded it. You can get it from the IRS homepage or you can get it from our site. We link to the, the page that we don't have our own form. We link to the page that the IRS uh, provides. And that form can be helpful in explaining things to you, but that's the form you're going to need uh, when you uh, file your taxes so that you can claim the return. And you have to lay out all the different uh, numbers and criteria and assert that you are eligible for it. The second thing you need to keep in mind, and this is a big one, you can't e-file. The IRS will not allow you to e-file uh, for your 2009 return and claim the home buyer tax credit. Why? Because they're trying to prevent fraud. A lot of people were claiming the tax credit under the prior versions of the tax credit and for their 2008 return that they filed in 2009, uh, and it was a lot easier for them to defraud the IRS if they could e-file and not be forced to prove that they actually purchased a home. So now the IRS needs you to document that you bought a home, and for that reason, they're not set up to receive e-filing for that. So you're going to have to file a paper return. And you're going to need to document that you purchased a home. What do you need to document that you purchased the home? Very simple. The HUD-1 statement is probably enough. The HUD-1 statement has to be, you'll get it at your closing, and it has to be filled out, signed, dated, completed. It's the, it's the form that you get at your closing table or from your settlement service, uh, and that you'll need to attach that to your return. To be safe, People are recommending that you provide other proof that you actually are living in the home that you're purchasing, that you didn't just purchase a home, that you purchased a home to live in. Uh, and that would include any third-party documentation that indicates that you live there. It could be your cable bill. It could be your driver's license that you've updated. It could be a bank statement. It could be a pay stub. Anything that is written by a third party that indicates that you live in the home that you just purchased. So you can't e-file, you got to document, and some of the things you need to document, the HUD-1, bank statements, um, driver's license, things like that. The more documentation, the better. Number three, you can take the tax credit off your 2009 taxes or your 2010 taxes. What does that mean? Well, most people want to get the tax credit as soon as possible. So they're going to try to claim it for their 2009 tax return that they'll file in April 2010. Okay, that's fine. And if you qualify under the income guidelines in 2009, that's great. Now, you do have to close first. Remember, the IRS needs to see documentation. So you can't um, send them a contract and say, I'm closing in May. Here's my tax return. It's before April 15th. Please give me my tax credit. I'd like to use it at the closing table. They're not going to let you do that. You're going to have to close first and then file. So what do you do if you're closing after April 15th? Well, you can either get an extension to file your tax return or you can, after you file your tax return by April 15th, you can then amend your tax return afterwards. These are all things your accountant can help you with and you should absolutely talk to your accountant about the process of filing your return. This is just advice to give you a general sense of the lay of the land. So, if you are closing before April 15th, well then you can claim the credit off your 2009 taxes and you'll get it when you file, when you get your, um, uh, your, when your return is processed by the IRS. Um, if you are going to be closing after April 15th, you can either extend your deadline, uh, get an extension from the IRS to file your tax return, or amend your return. Now that's if you want to claim it for your 09 taxes. But remember, you can also claim it for your 2010 taxes, which you'll file in April 2011. Now why would anybody want to file, wait a year to get their tax credit? Well, the only reason I can think of is that remember, 
the income limitations, which are $125,000 for a single, $225,000 uh, for a couple, uh, those are, apply in the year that you're trying to claim the tax credit. So it might be that you made too much money in 2009. But you're not going to make too much money in 2010, at which point you would claim it on your 2010 taxes and you'll wait till April 2011 uh, to file to get your credit. But it's a nice little trick of the tax credit that you can get it on either tax return. Now, a lot of people are probably in the other boat where they didn't make a lot of money in 2009 with the economy and everything like that. And so they want to take it now and they're expecting to make more money in 2010 so they're not going to get it if because they're going to be above the income limitations for their 2010 income. In that case, you absolutely want to take it on your 2009 taxes. So either close before April 15th and then file or extend or amend your tax return. And then finally, be prepared for delays. Because of the amount of processing work that these returns are going to take, the IRS has, has notified everybody that these returns are going to take a while to process and it may take you a little longer to get your refund check. So be prepared for that. Okay, we hope, we hope you thought this was helpful. If you have any other questions, check out the IRS page at the homebuyertaxcreditblog.com or go to homebuyertaxcredit.com uh, or send us a question on either of those sites. We hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and always, before you make any of these decisions, make sure you talk to your accountant. Thanks and have a great day.